the United House Gold Cup is next. This is a Group 3, or oh, Grade 3 event. And it's over two miles and five furlongs. Um, the top one is Blakey's Joey. Or Ryan Costello, Luxor, Darren Thompson, Mayday, Mayday, Craig Allen, Rainbow Italia, Martin Lidham, Samanda Canyard, or Ryan Costello, San Vino, Stu Gray, The Overlord, Joshua Sutherland was a winner last week, Artistic Rose, David Hooley, Happy Diva, John Morgan, Jay's Dawn Stall for James Shea, Craig Beckwith, Penny Bray, also won last week, Verglass for Alex Cherry, and Vintage Trader for Leon Van Rensburg. So 13 runners then this time, called in and away. And the racing. Off they go down towards the first of the fences in this one. And they've got 16 to take it all. And Samanda Canyard is the early leader. I'm not quite sure what that means, but it's uh, sounds pretty good. And Penny Bray has now come through to take it up. So Penny Bray then in the lead by about five lengths to Artistic Rose in second as they get to the first eventually. And over it they all go one or two. One tidy jump to Jay's old stall, who I think was on the deck last week, was nearly on the deck again as they get over number two, jump that one a little bit better. And it's Penny Bray, and I guess that ditch, first real big test, and then all over that one nicely. And Penny Bray is setting a pretty stiff pace, I think, as they get to this plane. Oh, and he's crashed out there, that John Morgan horse, happy diva, just did not get high enough. That's all you could see, that fall coming. From a long way off, really, he stood off the fence straight into it. And I keep saying this a lot, it seems, but John Morgan either wins or falls. He doesn't seem to do anything else. But I suppose it keeps things interesting for him anyway. But he's got his fair share of winners, but he also has his fair share of fallers. And Penny Bray over that one in the lead. From the Overlord second, and then Artistic Rose is third. Then comes Vintage Trader and Blakey's Jerry. It's San Vino after that one, then Luxor and Samanda Canyard with Mayday Mayday next, and then Rainbow Italia, the horse without a distance. As all oh, the leaders gone, he's crashed out there. And goodness me, Penny, well, I think that one won last week, but it's not going to win this week. And the jockey planted in the turf right in front of the stand, then with a crashing fall as they come up past the stand, past the winning post, and one more circuit to go. Action pack race so far. And Vintage Trader on the outside has found himself in the lead quite a bit earlier than it would have expected to. I think the Overlord, though, on the inside is challenging for that position. Then come the Ryan Costello pair, Samanda Canyard and Blakey's Jerry. Artistic Roses after that one. Then comes San Vino trying to get it. The one wide on the track is Rainbow Italia. And right over on the far rail, looks all with Mayday Mayday. And Jay's Doll Stool is just about the back marker then. And they get to the next. And that one they jumped it all okay with the Overlord and Vintage Trader 1 and 2. Samanda Canyard is in third. Then comes Verglass who's making a forward move. Also trying to come through around the outside is Rainbow Italia as they get to number 8. And over that one they all go. Jace Doll still, still just a back marker but jumped that one okay. And just being pushed to join the rest of them with Mayday Mayday now dropping to the back. But it's the Overlord over this ditch. Over it in the lead from Vintage Trader in second. Samanda Canyard third and then Blakey's Joey four. Then comes Verglass. Luxor going up the inside is going well. Also still going well there is San Vino. Then after that one comes Rainbow Italia. Artistic Rose has dropped back a little bit and Jay's Doll Stool has now dropped to the back again. But it's Vintage Trader and the Overlord. Having a bit of a battle for the lead with the Costello stable mates. Samanda Canyard and Blakey's Joey right behind. Then comes Mayday, Mayday and Luxor. Luxor's going to need to get out off that fence. It looks like it's going to be Samanda Canyard that gets boxed in as they get over the 11th. And over that one they all go with Vintage Trader in the lead. Blakey's Joey in second. Over the next one, that's the 12th. And over that one it was Vintage Trader still in the lead. From in second place, the Overlord on the inside. This is the final ditch over it. They go the fourth from home. And it's now still Vintage Trader in front. Blake is Joey second. This is the third last. Over that one they all go. They all jumped it nicely. And now Vintage Trader being challenged by Blake is Joey. The Overlord Verglass looks or is creeping, creeping through. An absolutely cruising jock. He's got a double hand on that one. And he says go. And he swings round the bend and swings into the lead. And it's Luxor who's taking it up then with three furlongs to go and two fences to take. It's Luxor who's gone two clear of Vintage Trader in second. Then comes Artistic Rose who's come from 
from nowhere into third over that second as they go. Luxor's in the lead. Artistic Rose looks the biggest danger. It's Luxor in front. Luxor by two lengths. Vintage Traders trying to fight back. They're coming down towards the final fence then now. And Luxor is in the lead from Artistic Rose and Vintage Trader. They come down to it. Over he goes. He stood off it and he didn't jump it well. And now Vintage Trader swoops on the outside. Luxor battling back. It's Luxor on the inside. Vintage Trader on the near side. Luxor looks to be strong enough. And Luxor is still in front. One last lunge from Vintage Trader. Luxor, Vintage Trader. Luxor's going to take it. Up towards the line. Luxor was the Vintage Trader. His second artistic rose. The overall Mado, Mado. Then Blakey's Jerry of Verglas and San Vino. And all the way back to Jay's Doll Stool. And Luxor. A pretty impressive performance. Looked like he may have thrown it away with that jump at the last. But battled on up the straight. And held off the strong challenge of Vintage Trader. Uh, Luxor takes it for Darren Thompson. Vintage Trader second for Leon Van Rensburg. Artistic Rose for David Hooley was third. The Overlord Joshua Sutherland fourth. And Mayday Mayday for Craig Allen. Right on to be fifth.